Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Cosmos and I'm coming at you today with another Terp review. Just hit the dispo earlier today, picked up uh, four grams of this bobsled here. We got two grams of double motorboat and two grams of the lime warp. And then I also picked up two, I guess these are 1.2 grams technically each of these fat packs here. These are the Tally Man. They were a pull and snap, but one of them sugared out into a nice sugar consistency. When I smelled it, it actually smelled pretty good. So I'm excited to try these. Uh, first off, I want to tell you guys the prices of these before I show them off. These fat packs are $20 each for 1.2 grams. I saw they had some lower quality as well for like $15 for 1.2 grams. Definitely wasn't stuff that I would smoke. Uh, but this stuff looked like it was reasonably promising, which I think is uh, at 1.2 grams for $20 is right around $17 a gram, 16 point. $16 and like 67 cents a gram or something like that. And then these ones by bobsled were $24 a gram. So a little bit on the pricier end for the Oregon rec market for BHO, um, but still in the in the right around normal range, you know, like anthology, their stuff generally ranges from 20 to 24 as well. Some stuff being a little bit more. Um, you know, I saw some stuff by bobsled up to, I think, I think they had one at like 32 or something like that. I personally don't ever buy anything that's over $25 a gram. Um, from the dispensary so yeah let's have a little gauntlet let's fucking get it we got three rigs here we got the number two aquarium here by liz wright with the hammerhead shark we've got the automator here by byron and gongster and then we've got the five-way main circle uh banger hanger here this is a collab between gongster sleek blueberry um nick bailey and glass by dre fuck yeah all right, let me show you guys these oils here before I try them out. I'm actually really excited uh, to show you guys these and to try them out as well. So, yeah, let's start with this fat pack right here. The Tally Man, $20 a gram. I think I'm going to have to switch the camera to show you guys these. But first off, I just want to kind of show you guys the packaging and get the grams out. And then I'll reverse the camera and show you guys the close-ups. Um, so this one is inside of a... Um, zip container inside of a um, this is PTFE paper so it's um, kind of like parchment paper except it's like a, a more plasticky version of parchment paper is how it feels it's not plastic of course this is totally safe for your dabs this isn't gonna get you sick or anything like that um, but okay I'm gonna show you guys this on the other on the reverse camera so give me a second everyone um, okay so you know what though actually hold on before I do that I just want to point out I, I feel really bad about this but I I open this gram and the first thing that I see, I'm not gonna lie, there's a piece of particulate in this that sugared out. And um, I'll, I'll show you guys, as soon as I reverse the camera, that's the first thing I'll show you guys. Um, not the best look for a first glance at a concentrate from a company I haven't tried before. You know, particulate is something that does happen, but uh, it's something I, I, I prefer to avoid if I see it consistently, especially. So let's check out these ones over here. The bobsleds, we've got some lime warp and some double motor boat. Their containers here are um, just little uh, cardboard boxes that have the information regarding the concentrates. And then inside they have a um, child safe glass container with a plastic lid. Um, all right, so yeah, this lime warp right here is 55% THC, which is rather low, but the reason for that is because the terps were pretty damn high. The terps are about 15%. So it's gonna be very, very terpy. Um, I'm gonna be interested to see if that one's harsh for me. Some of the time stuff that's really, really terpy can be really harsh for me, so I'm definitely interested. This double motor boat right here is coming in at 63% THC and uh, just about 9% terps, so it's a little bit more manageable on the terp side of things. We've got these containers here. You can see the lime warp a little bit more saucy. And uh, I'll show you guys this on the reverse camera right now so you guys can see uh, all of these BHLs before we dig in and take some fucking dabs. Let's get it. All right, here we are back with the front camera to show you guys a close-up of the concentrates. This one right here is the Tally Man BHO that was $20 for 1.2 grams. And let me show you guys this. Well, it's, it's really minimal on the particulate, honestly. You can see it right here. If you look closely, it is a black discoloration right there. A little piece of black particulate right there. No big deal, though. I'll still smoke it. I will smoke it. I definitely have brought to attention uh, to companies big pieces of particulate before. But that's so small, I'm not even going to hit them up and mention anything. 
whatever. This is the double motorboat here by Bobsled. And damn, the look of this one is honestly, it looks really great. The consistency of this is awesome. I really do like this consistency. It's not so wet that it drips, but it's a nice wet sugar consistency. So you can tell it's nicely terpy, but it maintains its structure well enough to easily scoop it onto a dabber. The smell of this double motorboat is a little bit more gassy, maybe a tiny bit of a, I kind of get a hint of orange in there and it does kind of, it has a more of an earthy tone to it. You know, I wish that I would have been able to smell this one a little bit more. I wouldn't have bought two grams, I think. Maybe just one. Because that lime warp has an insane smell compared to this double motor belt. But we'll see how it, how it hits. We'll see uh, when we smoke it how it is. This lime warp right here is super, super, super saucy. But damn, the terps just jump right out at you. Honestly, like, damn. It smells super, super fresh. It smells like those terps are just like harvested yesterday or something. Crazy, crazy citrus terps on this one. Um, this reminds me a lot of this gram that I got from Echo. That was, I mean, it was a little bit clearer, but the smell, anyways, reminded me of those golden pineapples by Echo that was just absolutely killer. Uh, I still have a little bit of it in my fridge, actually. So this lime warp right here, goddamn, I really hope that this is smooth to the dab because it is so saucy. If it is, I'm gonna have to go back and get some more because this right here, the smell of this just makes me feel like I'm gonna fucking love this. This smell is incredible. It's amazing. Let's give you guys a little smell on this tally, man, because we did a little bit of the of the showing of it, but I didn't really smell it and tell you guys what it smelled like. So, um, hold on, I'm just gonna come over here. I should have done this with all of them so you could see me smell it. So the smell on the tally, man, is definitely more mellow. You can tell that this was a pull and snap consistency that sugared out. Um, so the terps aren't quite as strong as like these bobsled terps, but I think that yeah. So the banana OG Turk in this tally man definitely does come through a little bit you can get that sweet turp just by the smell it's pretty solid honestly from the smell i'm gonna say that this one's probably gonna be worth 17 a g if it dabs as good as it smells anyways it's gonna be a thumbs up for me hmm. all right well let's try them out y'all what should we start with maybe we should start with um Let's start with one of the bobsleds because there's two of those. So let's start with uh, let's start with that uh, double motor boat. We'll take a dab of this, see how the terps are. We'll cleanse it with some tally man, and then we'll go in on that lime warp and see how that is. What is it lime warp or lime wrap? Lime warp, warp. All right, <laughs> let's see. Let's get it. I'm gonna flip the camera again so I can see what's going on. So yeah, see you guys in a sec. Peace. I was being very literal when I said just a sec. It literally has been just a second. I flipped my camera around and we're gonna get to the heating. I'm gonna speed up through the heating because sometimes it takes a long time heating and cooling, makes the videos crazy long. So I'll probably speed up this part about three or four times as much depending on uh, how long we make the video and whatnot. And then uh, I'll get that going, but we'll see. Maybe I won't speed it up that much actually. I guess, Oh no, you know what, you guys? I'm being a dingus. I was thinking about this gauntlet that I recorded last week for Instagram TV, that they only let you do 15 minute videos, and my video was like 25 minutes of me gauntleting on four or five pieces, I think it was five pieces. So I had to really um, cut that video down a lot and just speed it up a ton. But for YouTube, I don't have to speed anything up. So I'm not going to, because I don't need to. So why would I, you know what I'm saying? We could just chill, we can go on the cool down. If you guys want to just see the dab, Skip like another minute or so because we've got a minute and 20 seconds or so on this cool down and then we'll be taking a dab of this double motor boat to start it out. I'm going to get rid of my jacket right now because it is too fucking hot to take a dab with that blanket ass of a jacket on. I mean, it's an awesome jacket. I fucking love it. Don't get me wrong, but it is a blanket. It is very, very toasty. It's not a cool jacket by any means. Um, ooh, I'm actually really excited to try this. All right, while we're on this cool down, I want to give a shout out to the homie Abstract. He gave me permission to use his music in the back of my YouTube videos. Um, while I'm smoking hella weed in these videos, I don't monetize them, so I'm not making any money off of these videos. Um, but I'm going to leave Abstract's link down below so you guys can check out his music. I'm going to leave the link to his, um, probably his fucking Spotify is going to be the move. And yeah, just wanted to 
plug uh, abstract there let you guys know that yeah i don't make any money on these videos where i smoke so if you guys want to support us i leave the link in the description for um our website where you can purchase our original artwork as well as my instagram where you can follow it up my twitch where you can follow it up subscribe if you have uh, amazon prime you get a free sub there you know fuck yeah oh wow this is a little bit more area of a consistency than i expected but i like it i'm not gonna lie yeah it's really nicely wet uh, let's go in on this double motorboat here before it's too low temp. Cheers. Okay. Yeah, I like that double motorboat. It's not the the best Terps that I've ever tasted, I'm not gonna lie. The Terps really don't jump out at me super hardcore. It feels like I'm searching for the remnants of flavor in that in that dab right there. Um, it, it, it does have a gassy aftertone to it. It's definitely earthy and gassy. Um, the smell of orange that I smelled earlier, I don't get the taste at all. Um, so maybe I'm wondering if that was just the lime warp that I was smelling because it was open because that one has a hella citrusy taste. Because um, right now I'm really only getting gas and dirt are the two flavors that I'm getting mostly right now. Um, not in a bad way. It really wasn't harsh. It was very, very smooth. So right off the bat, that's a good sign because I've tried some other brands that like right off the bat, I was like, wow, this is just so harsh and all their stuff was so harsh. Um, this bobsled right here, that was very smooth. You know, I'm definitely sweating a little bit. I got minor, minor dab sweats. It's really hot in my room right now. Um, way hotter than it normally is. I don't know why. I, I mean, it's only 70 degrees in the house, but my room for some reason likes to stay at like 75. It's fucking crazy. <clears throat> Woo. Okay, that was a good dab though. Good first dab right there. Okay. I like it. I like that double motor belt. Um, it has... A nice consistency to it. It's nicely wet. Would I recommend it? For someone that really, really likes dirty, earthy, gassy strains, I would say try it out. If you're someone, I personally prefer uh, a more like a lemon, a citrus turp, something that's more like fruity, like a strawberry cough. I wouldn't have bought two grams of it if I have, was able to try it out of it before. The reason I bought two grams of it is because I liked the consistency more than anything. I really liked how it was like that wet sugar consistency that didn't look so wet that it would move hardcore when you like move the jar back and forth. Cause that generally when it gets that wet, sometimes the Terps really do burn. <clears throat> Talking a little bit more, uh, my throat is a tiny bit sore after that dab. Just like a tiny bit. I'm thinking maybe the Terps. We'll see how, uh, how it goes with the next couple dabs here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the main circle banger hanger away and banger transfer here to the aquarium. Sweet. Ooh -wee. Hey, do I get oil on the outside? No, it just, maybe this banger is just slowly chasm. It's probably it. Okay. So we'll be chilling on that double motor belt. I definitely actually need to drink some water before the next dab. Normally, um, I don't kind of get much throat irritation until after taking like four or five dabs in a row. So, interested to see. Really wasn't immediate. I don't know if it was from that. Hmm. We'll see how it goes with the next couple dabs. <clears throat> We're gonna heat one up now for that Tally Man VHO by Fat Packs. And we'll try that. So, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I just wanna say one thing as I'm heating up this dab. 
every company has some dabs that are fucking awesome and some dabs that maybe fall short you know what i'm saying maybe some companies are really really good about only releasing stuff that's crazy crazy fire a lot of the time if you buy the material you process it you're gonna sell it you know what i'm saying so maybe the grams that i bought weren't true representations of these companies you know what i'm saying um maybe these companies have product out right now that's better uh, but if so, I didn't see it. I was only able to smell maybe like five or six of the grams by bobsled. It got kind of busy in the dispensary that we were at. Unfortunately, the bud tender wasn't like super helpful. Like she was kind of nice, but she didn't seem super enthusiastic to be helping us. I'm not going to lie. Um, she didn't seem super stoked. Uh, a lot of the time when I go into a dispensary, I'm like, yo, I'm so sorry. I'm probably going to ask you to smell like a bunch of different dabs because before I buy dabs, I like to smell like everything by a company and see what to me smells like the best ones. The consistency looks like it's going to be the best for me for, for dabbing. You know, if it's too wet, I normally won't buy it. This lime warp, it just smelled so good. I had to fucking buy it. I had to scoop a couple of grams of it, um, even though it was wet. So I'm really intrigued to see if it's going to be uh, too harsh for me to dab like good dabs of it, you know? We'll see, because that's kind of how, um, don't get me wrong, Echo releases some fucking fire, but the golden pineapples that I bought from Echo was so incredibly terpy that I actually couldn't really take um, dabs of it, it felt like. It really felt like I had to take either just like the babyest baby dab, or I would have to mix it with something else. Like if I had a gram that wasn't super flavorful, I'd mix it in there. Um, yeah. Okay, we've got a nice dab here of this tally, man. Cheers. Yeah, actually. Very mellow terps, but. For 17 a G. The terps on that are really nice for being, they're mellow though, don't get me wrong. But they're nice. It's like a classic, like, you know, like very mellow banana flavor. Nice and sweet. Feels like the material wasn't super, super old that they uh, used for that one. Yeah, that's awesome. I wonder when it was processed. It was tested a month ago, one month and five days ago. So it was probably processed about a month ago, maybe like a month and like a, a few days ago, so. That's nice. That's nice. And you, if you know that, if you, uh, oh goodness, I'm getting pretty lit, you guys. Whew, we've got one more dab to go. Anyways, what I was going to say is if you've had pull and snap before, a pull and snap that sugars over pretty much completely within about a month or so, you know, that's a pretty terpy pull and snap. And you could tell. A lot of the time I avoid shatter because it is super dull for me and like kind of bland and it doesn't have much flavor and like i tried it you know i tried getting some uh some northwest kind uh their platinum line right crc fucking shatter and i mean i took a couple of dabs and i just really didn't enjoy it the flavor was just completely honestly just really unenjoyable um i'm not gonna lie like uh this is this is a random crazy random story but I haven't puked from taking a dab since like fucking like right after taking a dab I want to say since it feels like college like one time it wasn't right after I took a dab but I ate like two pints of ice cream and like drank a fucking liter of a fucking Dr. Pepper because I was so big and I puked after that but it had been a while since then and I took a fat dab of that fucking shatter and then I puked and I was like fuck that so yeah I don't know you know, fuck that. I haven't actually dabbed any more of that since then. <clears throat> I don't think that it was necessarily that that made me puke. I think it was just like, it was a fat dab and just the flavor just wasn't super enjoyable, you know, or if it was like a really enjoyable flavor and I took a fat dab, you know, maybe I would have enjoyed it more. I don't know. I don't know. I'm baked, y'all. I'm fucking rambling, so. <laughs> we got to get ready for the last dab. Mm. I'm excited. I'm very excited.
So I'm not gonna lie, that uh, tally man, super smooth. Super smooth. I gotta give props to uh, Fat Pack, definitely smooth. Um, you know, I know a lot of their stuff is kind of more on the budget side, so some people are probably very curious. It was smooth, that was nice, you know, that tally man. For $20 for 1.2 grams, out the door, tax included. Wait, no, tax included, let me see. I bought three grams at 24 gram, which makes 72 plus, plus, I don't know, I see. I got two of the fat packs and two bobsleds, so that's 40 plus, so that's 88. They hit me with the 88 or they hit me with the tax too. They hit me with the tax. Okay, so that dispensary, I think, adds tax on to the customers. Another dispensary that I go to does not add tax on. So maybe I should recommend that they start carrying these companies because I would probably give them business. Their bud tenders are... I don't know why my video just stopped for no reason. Well, crazy. Anyways, I was talking about the bud tenders at the place I normally go that doesn't add tax. They're super, super helpful. And uh, the ones where we went today to scoop these, they, they were helpful, but just not quite as friendly, it felt like. So um, I'm going to recommend these because I like these. I have to try the this uh, lime wart, though. I already like the double motorboat, and I'm not going to lie that. The tally, man, I feel really good right now. I feel a really nice type of baked right now um, between that the tally man and that dab of the double motorboat. Feeling good. I'm ready for that dab of the lime war. Mm. Stay hydrated, yo. It is so important to stay hydrated. If you're dabbing, if you're smoking down, I mean, even just in general, if you're not smoking, stay hydrated. Get your water bottle. Drink some fucking water, yo. If you don't have a water bottle, get a water bottle. Keep it by your side. Drink like three of these a day, four of these a day, five of these a day. Pee all the time. It doesn't even matter. You know? It's good. Drink a lot of water. It's healthy. It's super healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> all right. The lime warp. Bum, 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 bum. See you to that. Boom, we got a full minute cooldown too. Maybe even more than a minute. A minute and 20 second cooldown once we get this heated, so. We got time. Mm, okay. We're gonna go. I like to start the next song a lot of the time whenever I'm recording or like doing a live feed or something, you know? I like to start the next song as my dab timer so then I know. I guess I could look at the recording time and then go from there, but shenanigans. Okay, this lime warp. 55% THC, 15% terps. All right, what's good? I'm back. It took me a second. I had to delete some videos. I realized that my storage was full on my phone. We've got this Lime Warp by Bobsled right here going down on the number two aquarium. Let's get it. Cheers, show. Yup. Those lime terps though. Yeah. Yes. I very much approve of this lime warp. Definitely has more of a terp burn. 
<clears throat> than the tally man and also than the double motorboat but that's just because it has a lot more turps <sighs> trying to explain the turp burn i'd say it's just kind of like a burn in my nostrils you know sometimes in my throat as well when the turps kind of like get your throat but not right there that was a really nice uh, good temperature dab, so I don't feel like I got any turp burn in my throat necessarily, but my nose for sure It feels like uh, my nose hairs are tickling, you know what I'm saying? It's not a bad, uh, it's not a bad feeling right now at all I actually really really enjoyed that lime warp and for $24 a gram I would for sure recommend that a hundred percent the turps on that are outstanding delicious and it is pretty wet so i mean if you had some stuff that was like a little bit drier that you're like shit i want to dip this in some terps or something you could literally just like dip a, dip a little bit of it in those terps those uh juicy little terps there and nicely flavor it so yeah wow i'm really happy about that really really happy about that mm, that's a delicious one for sure bobsled killed that that lime warp is awesome Mm. Mm. Super delicious. Well, damn. Now after trying that lime warp and the double motorboat, I'm not going to lie. I really wish that we would have been able to smell all of the flavors that Bobsled had there at the dispensary. But um, the bud tender, she was really rushing us. She was really not wanting to help us. And like she was really... Um, she did not want us to like she obviously was unhappy that I was trying to kind of smell all the dabs But it's like yo, that's like what <laughs> I just don't understand in any world Why wouldn't you you know what I'm saying if you're going in to check out a brand Wouldn't you want to smell all of their strains that like look like they're pretty solid, you know And I really wasn't able to I smelled maybe one other one that I was like, no, I'll pass on that one um, but there was like six others that I didn't even get to smell and now I'm curious and it's like, I, I don't go to the dispensary too often. I try to go once a week. So I'm not gonna lie. I love these dabs. And uh, that dispo trip was disappointing because of the customer service there. Not because of the dabs, because I'm really happy with these dabs. This tally man for fucking 17 a G at 1.2 grams for $20 is a great deal. That's fucking awesome. It smokes great and it tastes awesome. And then this fucking lime warp, <clears throat> While it definitely does get you a little bit more with the terps, it is 100% worth it. These terps are fucking awesome and very delicious. Um, wow. Definitely, definitely props to Bob's Lead for the terps on that one. That's really fucking delicious. Mm, super tasty. The double motorboat is nice as well, but let me smell it again here. Hold up. Let me smell it again. If you really like dirty, earthy terps, that gassiness, you might like this actually a lot. But I'm not gonna lie, for 24 gram, I would go with the lime warp. I like the terps a lot more on that one. This one just kind of, I, I, I bet the material probably wasn't super old, but it kind of has that more of a smell and kind of taste to it more of like that older earthy earthy taste i don't know reminds me of like an old oak tree like you're dabbing some maple sap off of an old oak tree just dripping right down into your nail no i mean it didn't have a maple flavor at all so that was a terrible terrible but you guys you guys know what i'm saying all right i'm baked um it's time for me to peace out of this youtube video and this gauntlet but really quick i'm just gonna plug zen and i shit our website's going to be down below for our artwork that's available. It's www.stonedreamers.com. Um, I also have my Instagram down below, which is Cosmos420, and my Twitch down below, 420Cosmos, where I stream some gaming, some sessions and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I hope that your weekend and week and whatnot is absolutely fucking wonderful. And uh, yeah, it's been lit. Appreciate all the love, everyone. I'm sure I'll catch you next time. Peace, motherfuckers. Oh, before I peace out completely, I realized um, I need to do a cover frame. This is fun. 
And you know, I could include this in the video or I could just include the cover frame. So I think I'm just gonna include this in the video because that's fun. That is definitely fun. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this back in here and then go like this. I'm gonna get the fat pack and the bobsleds in there so you can see. What if I do this with these? Make these all facing forward like this for the frame. That looks cool, right? And then we got the fat packs like this. You can see the dabs. And I'll go like this. Cheers, yo. It has been absolutely wonderful. These dabs are great. Um, I'm super baked. It's been awesome, seriously. It's been super awesome. Whoa, one more shout out to the homie Abstract. I know I said it earlier, but huge thanks for letting me play the music in the back of this dabbing video here on YouTube. He's the fucking homie. Check out his Instagram at Abstract. Holy fucking shit, I think it's 503. And if it's not, I'm so sorry. I think it's Abstract 503 on Instagram. But if you just look up Abstract on Instagram, I would bet you it'll come up. So, yeah. I'm going to also link his Spotify so you guys can check him out. And, uh, yeah. Oh, let me get one more cover for him. <laughs> I look super baked. This is perfect because I am. That's perfect. <laughs> All right. One more piece and out. Much love, everyone. That's all. <laughs> Peace.